think uh, a couple of things that really hit me the most about being in the Army and the deployments that I went on, going around the world, seeing different cultures, ex really experiencing life up front firsthand like that, really gave me a strong sense of compassion and empathy for other people. In the course of a more than three decade career with the Army, Brigadier General Richard Seeley has seen a lot of the world and a lot of opportunities to serve it. I deployed to places all over the world and whether it was coordinating humanitarian relief for people in East Timor after their war for independence or working with uh, refugees from uh, northern Iraq, uh, working with Iraqi election officials, helping them have a free and fair election, or even uh, my experience in Bosnia just working uh, in the city there after the war and then visiting some of the orphans that were in an orphanage there from the war. Uh, I think I made, left a positive impact on all these people that I touched. And I've lived my life like that ever since. Many people find a career with the military, but Brigadier General Richard Seeley found his calling to serve humanity with compassion and integrity. There's a Jesuit priest named uh, Greg Boyle. He's very well known for working with gangs in Los Angeles years ago. And I'll, I'll paraphrase what he said about compassion. He said, here's what we seek, a compassion that stands in awe of how the poor carry their burdens as opposed to standing in judgment on how they carry them. A model of compassionate engagement, not just with the communities he encountered, but with the community he led. I think I made a positive impact on the soldiers that I worked with and the families that I, that I encountered throughout my service. And I knew as a leader I couldn't lead them from a computer sitting in my office at my headquarters. I had to get out there and see them. Lessons in leadership exemplified by his time as an undergraduate at UNCG. Dr. Walter Salinger from the psychology department, uh, he made a tremendous impact on me. What really struck me about Walt was his level of commitment, not only to the students, but to the research he was doing there in the school. It was absolutely phenomenal. And then also the trust that he put in me as an undergrad student. An opportunity to prove himself as a student that led him to proving himself time and again as a soldier and a leader. Do you know how hard you work when you're in the gym weightlifting? Well, that's the level of commitment I need for you. That's how hard you need to work when you're in the lab and when you're in class. And I took that as a, a moment of personal mentorship. You really got to put in that extra effort. You really got to show that commitment. And that was something that I really picked up from him and I really carried that for the rest of my life. The combination of integrity, scholarship, and respect that marked Brigadier General Seeley's time at UNCG, setting the example for our students to take out into the world and practice. There's absolute respect for individuals, uh, your fellow students, the, st the, the staff there, the professors. You, know, you want to treat everybody with dignity and respect, and that's certainly how, uh, ha how it was back at UNCG when I was there, and no doubt that's still how it is now. Dignity and respect for every individual, a hallmark of Brigadier General Richard Seeley's career here at UNCG and around the world as a soldier, leader, and citizen. We're proud to present him with the Minerva Service Award for his service to communities everywhere.